The Foundations of Business Communication What is communication? According to the Webster Dictionary, communication is the means of sending or receiving information between two or more parties. How do we apply these skills to business? We apply these to business every day, whether it be communicating with your business partners or the consumers. Importance of communicating effectively. It's vital to be skilled in this area because it is the backbone of success of the business. Without these skills, information would be lost or misconstrued. People would not understand their task and ideas and concepts would not be shared to help the growth of the company. What are employers searching for? They are searching for effective communication skills such as building relationships with business partners as well as coworkers and consumers, your ability to share your knowledge and promote your ideas in a respectable way, give and receive feedback in a constructive and professional manner, being an active listener in the workplace and show people that you are interested and attentive in what they have to say, a good attitude, open mind when it comes to other people's points of views and not being quick to judge, and lastly, the ability to work well with others in the group settings is very important. In a communication, there are two roles, the senders and receivers. The sender is responsible for communicating their ideas or emotions in a direct and understandable manner, as well as asking any questions from the audience. The receiver is responsible for active listening. Some ways of active listening could be taking notes or repeating the message back for validation. This exchange of information can be done verbally or written. When delivering a message, the sender should have full consideration in mind of the you viewpoint of the audience. This is vital when dealing with someone from another culture because you do not want to come off disrespectful, as well as keeping in mind the age of those who are listening because some words or phrases that one generation uses, the other might not understand or take out of context. There are three different patterns of business communication. First, we have the vertical flow in which messages travel up and down the chain of command. This commonly includes reports and proposals flowing upward and plans, directives, and instructions flowing in a downward path. Next, we have the horizontal flow of information that happens between persons on the same level within the company. This can be done to share data or coordinate efforts between coworkers. Lastly, we have the network flow of communication. This involves information that flows freely and has no bounds to the hierarchy or status of participants. Examples of this would be social media groups, employees who share interests outside of the workplace, company-sponsored sports teams, etc. The patterns of communication can be defined as formal or informal. Formal being business-oriented, making it essential for the operations of the company and is planned and recorded. Informal would be unplanned communication based on business-related as well as personal information. Important to maintain positive relationships Informal includes comments on other company nudes, chatting about TV shows, etc. This informal communication is also known as a grapevine. Both modes can be written or oral. In communication, like all aspects of life, there are barriers. There are physical, language, cultural, and psychological barriers. Physical barriers are classified such as disabilities like speech impediments and hearing problems, as well as actual physical barriers like walls and doors. In the language barrier, people who are not familiar with complex business terms such as jargon can be easily confused, as well as the way you write can be a barrier if it's too complicated to understand. Staying simple and to the point is the best way to break this barrier. As well as people who speak other languages, it can be a barrier for them to overcome as well. Accents can be difficult for some people to understand and overcome. Next, we have cultural barriers such as social etiquettes and viewpoints can be drastically different between two different cultures. Some cultures, opposite gender communication is taboo, something to keep in mind when planning business meetings. People from other cultures have contrasting ways of thinking because how are they brought up in life? It is important to keep this in mind when communicating. Keeping anything too personal like politics, race, religion, etc. out of discussion is vital. Lastly, psychological barriers consist of distractions like cell phones, stress, Loss of interest and short attention spans can cause listeners to get discouraged. Keeping all of these barriers in mind and knowing how to break them will help guide your communication to success. Some tips for good communication during presenting would be keeping the message simple. Don't stray too far from what you're trying to convey to the audience. Request feedback when you're done to clear up any confusion. Eye contact, high energy, and interactive bits to keep people entertained. 
and most importantly, remaining confident will allow people to respect and believe what you have to say. In conclusion, communication is the most important thing when operating as a successful business. Keeping things in mind like barriers when sending out your message will help guide your intentions to the right direction. Employers may concern when hiring is how skilled you are in communication and how well you can work with others. By practicing and developing these skills, you will become an essential role in any business.